This is David with TechNewsZone.com in Las Vegas, no, uh, September 29th, 9, 2019. I almost said 1919, I'm losing it. But I was building this pantry for my wife that we needed to get built. So um, um, I was missing a part, so I thought I'd try to 3D print the part. I needed one that looked like that. I don't have that exact part, but I found one on Thingiverse that's a little different, but similar. Uh, hold on, it's made by, uh, I have to give credit, I'll give credit in the notes, I, I don't know who it's made by, but I'm using my um, iMade 3D Jelly Box 2 to print one, it's a little different, but hopefully it'll work for the piece of furniture, you see the little plastic angle bracket, I'm printing it in Philo Alpha, Alpha Pro Original Metallic filament um, on my iMade Jelly Box 2, my Jelly Box 2 needs to be a little bit, I think the tension's a little light in my um, Y, X, Axis, my bad. Science teacher in training, they should know that. X axis, um, but it, I slowed it down to 58%, so it's doing well. Um, and I slowed the jerk, I slowed some other settings, so it's a little um, slower when it prints stuff. So it's printing out three of these little L brackets. So I'm trying to figure out the exact size. So I'm printing one at 100%, one at 90%, not one at 110%. So hopefully I'll get it right the first time. But one's printing at 90%, one's at 110%, one's at 100 that just in case they're slightly different size. One should line up. It does say number six screw, so it should be pretty similar in size to the one I had. But just to make sure, uh, I'm printing it to three different sizes. But this is my iMade 3D Jelly Box 2. It got abused a little bit when we moved and uh, cracked here and there, but it's still printing beautifully. Um, despite being damaged a little bit by my move this summer, there's a couple cracks in the top, but it's working beautifully still. It's an awesome printer. Um, I had had some issues, but it's more just because I moved it around and stuff than the printer. Uh, and it needs to be tightened down a little bit. But it does work very, very well. I am printing in Philo Alpha printer filament they sent me. Little wee rolls, like maybe two-thirds size, maybe half size rolls. Um, but they're pretty cool. And those rolls will come in handy if I run out of, when they run out, I can use them for other filament because they're little bitty rolls. But this is Dave with TechNewsZone.com, printing out a useful part for a pantry for my wife, a little miniature pantry that we won. It was a kit though, when you win a kit, you gotta build it. But I was missing one part, uh, as far as we know so far, when these little L brackets, on my an sitting on my antique MacBook. I'm using Cura to uh, slice this. It's an egg I'm doing for science. I'm actually in science teacher training uh, Alta, Alternative Licensing Teacher Academy in Vegas to teach high school science. And uh, we're doing an egg drop, so I'm messing with some eggs. I printed that one earlier, but it actually printed it with no fill. Um, so I'm reprinting it with 80% fill. I'm also printing one of my Ultimaker. Uh, we recently received a gift of an Ultimaker to go. It's cool. It's smaller than the IMA Jelly Box 2, but it does print pretty decently. Um, printed that little uh, Chester Cat... Um, um, pumpkin earlier. Um, upside of the jelly box, it can print bigger. Ours is having some light issues. Mm -hmm. This is the, uh, it's a little out of adjustment. It's having some line issues on the line shift, so I'm working on getting it tightened down after. After this print, it should be fine. It's printing the, oh, I'm going to adjust it later, but I'm tired. But, this is David with TechNewsZone.com in Las Vegas. I'm using my Jelly Box 2 to print something useful. Okay, some eggs for a egg experiment for science uh, at school while I'm student teaching. And then some L brackets. All right, Dave Berkowitz and TechNewsZone.com signing out. For, uh, and we'll come back later do more videos. I'll try to do a lot more in the next few months. Uh, now that I'm almost a science teacher, I have 18 more days of student teaching. If I make it through, I'll be a science teacher. So... Do some more cool stuff showing off what we're printing for school and stuff. That one's printing an egg as well. Uh, that one's pretty solid, so it's like 100% fill. Uh, well, this one printed at like 10% fill, so it weighs nothing. And that's a marble egg. So this is a real one. It's marble. Not nearly the same, but similar. It's trying to print the same thing, but but not exactly. Cool.